Yo, what up YouTube, what up boxing fans? It looks like the matchup with Andre Berto and K9 Bundridge is being put on hold and sort of, you know, they don't want to bring Berto up to 154 anymore. It looks like Golden Boy wants to match Berto with Robert the Ghost Guerrero, the newly crowned WBC champ at 147 pounds. Berto said repeatedly he's going to come back straight to a title shot. And it looks like he's going to get one. And it looks like his opponent just might be Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Uh, this is according to Fight Hype where uh, both sides are in serious con discussions and could soon be finalizing a deal. Guerrero's manager, Luis uh, de Cubas Jr., maintains that Berto is just one of the several options that they are currently considering. When asked if they were coming close to terms with Berto, de Cubas Jr. replied, nothing yet. Working on Berto, Maidana, Alexander if he wins, and Matisse. To me, real close is a contract in hand, but he's definitely an option. We just want to fight the best. And that's really good news on on the side of Robert Guerrero. He's really considering guys like Devin Alexander and Andre Berto. So it seems like, you know, it's a shame he won't fight Timothy Bradley. I think that was an A-class fight. But it looks like Bradley's heading in the direction of Lamont, Lamont Peterson, who recently tested positive for steroids. Uh, someone who also recently tested positive, whether it was tainted supplements or not, it looks like Andre Berto uh, is going to be right back into the picture as well as he takes on Robert Guerrero, perhaps. And I think this is a much better matchup than K9 Bundridge. You know, Berto's already, he's not too too big of a 147 pounder. So to see him at 154, to me, is it's just a really bad uh, move. Because he's just, he doesn't seem like a full-fledged junior middleweight. And a fight against Robert Guerrero, who's really a blown-up super lightweight, right? So this is a good matchup. I think technically, Robert the Ghost Guerrero might have the edge. However, uh, you know, he tends to get hit with a lot of right hands. And Berto has a good right hand. He's got a great overhand, right? Uh, he's got an explosive left hook. He's got power on both hands. So, I think this is a great matchup, and I think, you know, I think I want to see this fight. Like, let's see if they can make it happen. And we could definitely see Robert Guerrero tested at 147 pounds, because Berto is an A-class fighter. He was matched up with, you know, not true elites, although he was supposed to be matched up with Mosley when he was in his prime, or a sort of... You know, soon after Mosley fought uh, Antonio Margarito, or sometime before, he was supposed to be matched with Mosley in a tremendous bout, but that put on that was put on the back burner because of the earthquake in Haiti. So I definitely want to see Andre Berto back at the elite level, and especially against a guy like Robert Guerrero. That to me is a great fight. You know, if not, I'd love to see a rematch with Victor Ortiz. I think that's a fight of the year candidate every time they, they're matched together. So, for now, guys, it is what it is. Hopefully this fight gets made. Peace out, take care.